Vikings and the stories of their conquests have fascinated historians and the general public for nearly 1,000 years. The Dane law and the stories of Viking mercenaries serving the Byzantine Empire are well-known parts of the Viking Age. What people do not talk about often are the Viking settlements that didn't survive. This is a two-part series where we will discuss the lost Viking settlements in North America, specifically in Vinland and Greenland. Today we will discuss the lost Viking settlements in Greenland. Throughout the Viking Age, Vikings established colonies in northern landmasses such as Iceland and Greenland. An often asked question that many people have is how the Icelandic settlements survived, but the Greenlandic ones died off. For 500 years, Scandinavians inhabited Greenland in three distinct subregions named, because historians are great at naming things, the Eastern, Middle, and Western settlements. Now, these regions were not one big town. Instead, they were collections of very small settlements. These settlements were mostly farms made in the fjords of the coastline. Fjords allowed for some shelter and a milder climate. Apart from farming, pastoral herding and fishing industries were very prevalent. The eastern settlement had a population of 4,000 people located in many different towns and fjords on the southwest of the island. As said before, the people were mostly farmers, herders, or fishermen, and there is evidence of some trading between Inuit people and the Norse. There has also been some evidence of fighting between the two people groups, which may have contributed to the destruction of the colony. The middle settlement was a collection of 20 farms and is the smallest of all three settlements, also being the last to be created, and then the first to be abandoned. There isn't much to say about this because not much archaeological evidence has been found, but it was the very smallest. Today, the abandoned mining village of Ivitut, I'm sorry, I just mispronounced that awfully, lays on the ruins of the small Norse settlement. The final settlement we will talk about is the Western Settlement. The Western Settlement had a population of about 1,000 inhabitants and around 95 farms. It had a smaller growing season than the, uh, than the Eastern one because it was so much higher north in latitude and therefore had a much smaller population. They had more contact with the Inuit peoples, but because they had a smaller population, they just did not have too much to trade. Sadly, by the year 1500, all settlements were abandoned. While there were many factors and theories on why, the most prominent of which include conflict with the Inuit, the movement of the plague to Greenland, and the most widely accepted theory being the changing of the climate. This moment in time was called the Little Ice Age because temperatures dropped considerably all across the world for about 200 years. Because of this, harvests in Greenland and around the world began to diminish and fail, and because of this, many were forced to either starve or leave the island. The final account from the Greenlandic Norse comes from a church record of a wedding being formalized. What happened after that is lost to history. Today, the only remnants of these past settlements are the ruins of farms and churches that are scattered throughout the fjords of Greenland. I hope you enjoyed this really quick video that's going to be in a two-part series of mine about lost Nordic settlements. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe and have a wonderful day and in two weeks be prepared for part two.